Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we're uh, back. Welcome back, Justin oh, Martin, nah. Jay Stone, Uncle Cy, Johnny D, baby. Uh, uh, what's going to be the subject of the day? Uh, we should talk about our feelings and uh, cry some more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Peanut butter pie. That Ooh, is what we're talking about. Peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. That don't sound yeah. much. Oh, oh, let me tell you something. Is it good? His wife texted me last night. Said you're going to be at the office this week. I said I'm going to be in and out. Why? Wow, what's up? You know, I was thinking she we something was wrong. I was like, man, I've been kind of out of touch. Are we out of yeah. something? Are we? Yeah. Are we this? Are we that? <laughs> she said, "Is the business she's, in trouble?" She sent me a picture of a pie. She said, "Well, I just want to make sure you get this." And I said, <laughs> "Oh, oh, okay." And she yeah. said, "It's peanut butter." Well, look, the, the, this is weird, right? Yeah. My neighbor just made us a peanut butter pie the other night brought it over when she made roast i ain't never had one before me neither and i looked at it and i said yeah yeah that looks pretty good yeah, look, so, do they look the same they look identical huh yeah graham cracker crust that same kind of light brown color so but that neighbor when i took a fork and i didn't even take a cut i just i said i got to know i mean it's just me and Brittany. ain't we ain't trying to Straight presentation the on this thing <laughs> and i took a bite of it and i said that's dangerous that right there, because oh. because then that it led seems to, to another. Me that would be hard to eat. What is it? Buddy. Hey, just the, just the mm -mm. opposite. No, it's so easy to eat. You eat the whole thing that, in about forty eight hours. That's right. Looking it up because every time I walked by the refrigerator, I popped it out on the deal. Oh. I took a plastic fork, and then once I had a big enough spot, I just left the fork in there with it. <laughs> Does it look like this? You you pull a crisp thing. Yep. That's yeah. what it looks like. Similar, uh, yeah. Very similar. Yep. It well, is. Th this says that is peanut butter, oh. heavy cream, and uh, cream cheese. That, that's that pretty is, much what yep. it tasted that's like. That's what well, it is. Interested. That actually looked like a potato pie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. She whipped one, one up by a week ago. And we asked people over for dinner, and I said, what is that? She said, peanut butter pie. And I thought, like you did, Si, I thought. That'd be hard to eat to me. It just seemed like. It, it seemed like it'd be too rich. Yeah. To eat, but yeah. it, it this thing was so light, and it was the it, it it was like Reese's cup on steroids. Oh, yeah. if you like Reese's yeah. cup, this oh, yeah. is ten times better than a Reese's cup. Yeah, it's smooth, smooth. Like the putting that with that heavy cream and that cream cheese just so, smooths okay. well, out I, that peanut butter. I was gonna say it's got to be just oh. a light on the peanut and butter, it's a, and it's got a, ingredients. A, a graham cracker crust. Is well, you can't go wrong with graham. She used a sugar free. Cool Whip yeah. in there instead of heavy cream. That's fine. Well, I'm, is, I'm good with that. It's yeah. stupid good. Uh, it's the one thing that I know of so far that the W sauce doesn't make better. You, you don't need W uh, sauce don't for peanut on, butter hey, pie. But you it, don't put W sauce on peanut butter pie. You don't need it for that. Don't need <clears> it. But, but it, it is proof that the Lord loves us and gives oh. us blessings every day. I oh. guarantee you. That <laughs> that one, that one, Miss Bourgeois made my neighbor. I was like, wow. And then Anna sent me that picture. I said, Okay, I just threw that ten away from that other one. Yeah, we got room for him. Run it back. Yep, we got plenty of room for him. When I took a bite out of it, I thought of, immediately thought of Martin because I know he loves those Reeses. Mm. And I thought, oh, Praise I said God. Martin would love. Uh, he hurt himself. Said, you need to make Martin one of these pies. So she did. What you don't know about Martin, and Martin just love peanut butter. I got a thing of creamy right. Jeff in my pantry at all times with a spoon <laughs> really close. I'm not Ted Lasso. I don't leave the top off of it and go in there and stick my finger in it. But there's a spoon really close to a jar of peanut butter at my house at all times. Uh, Boy likes I, peanut butter. I love it. Crunchy, smooth, it don't matter. You don't make it difference. No, love, love it all. Butter, people been, but people have been bringing you a lot of food? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know it's good because, yeah. hey, ducks love them. What, peanuts? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's They'll just peanut stuff butter. their crawl till you, it's, you literally have one sticking out their mouth. That's why I'm a duck hunter. I'm serious. I'm serious. They love peanuts. I love oh. peanuts. They love rice. I love rice. I don't know. I've Corn. Seen, I've Man. seen Phil grab them out of their goozle. And then break them open, eat them. Oh. Goozle. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. That's a crop for. Hey, well, Johnny Day, look up Goozle on. <laughs> goozle. Oh, Goozle, Don. Goozle. Yeah. But, hey, the first time I picked one up, I thought it was something wrong with him. Yeah. Because I'm talking about, yo, know, he was just, it was just packed, just, you know. I said, hey, you can't eat these ducks. There's something wrong with them. And he's all bust out laughing. He said, hey, that's peanuts. He's full of. I said, what? And then Phil grabbed him and squeezed him and started making him spit out peanuts. That's kind of gross. 
<laughs> did he yeah. eat? Did Phil eat one of the? Oh peanuts? yeah, no, no, I'll see it. from the goozle. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah he, he ate one of the raw well, peanuts. Hey, it's the on. He's in the shell. He just cracked the shell open, you know, and ate some peanuts. It's on one of the videos, like <laughs> Duckman Four, yeah. maybe or yeah. three or four or something. Yeah. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. When they made the yeah. video in two weeks it out of Texas. It takes them a while to digest that stuff, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back hey, in the days well, when the Duckman videos were easy to make, just go to Texas for two weeks and get yeah. a whole video. That's right. Sit on, sit on the pond. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, it takes about three years. <laughs> hey, don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> well, once another creature has eaten something, though, that's theirs. But like, it ain't digested. It's just sitting there. It ain't digested. It's just in the. It's in just a, sitting there. It goes it's in, in your like mouth. A, it's yours. It's a sack, like in a sock. I'm serious. Mm. Oh, and hey, do it. then their gizzard gets involved in it, starts grinding them down, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Si, would you eat like, you know, deer love alfalfa? They eat it. It just goes into a sack. Would you get it out no, there and eat no, it? No, because they, they reach you theirs. <laughs> okay, they'll come back up and chew it a while, swallow it. <laughs> Lay down, put it back up, chew it again. So you draw the line on peanuts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anything in a hole, it's okay. <laughs> hey, if it's not in a hole, no, forget that. It needs protection. <laughs> oh, that's Speaking funny. of deer, me and uh, the man over there that's running the joint for deer management, me, his daughter, and then Chad and his daughter went out <clears throat> and was managing a herd last night. Well, that is little. It was uh, Doe Management Day. That was it. How many did y'all get? We got three. Three. There you the go. The girl shot one, and I shot one, and mine, I, you know, they, they, the girl said, you shot that little baby. It was a two-year-old doe. But I thought she was broadside. Wrong answer. Bad shot. <laughs> I hit the shoulder, come out the gut. Oh, it was all right. Though. Quarter to you. Uh, but, oh, yeah. That ain't it, it was a good shot. That ain't yeah. terrible with well, a rifle. Oh, uh, yeah, but, hey, it, for the man claiming it, pfft, Rough. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, are you saying I, you I, weren't uh, the man cleaning it? I, I was the man cleaning. It. I felt sorry for Chad. No, once once the <laughs> once the deer hit the concrete, Sai was in his truck. That's it. I said, "Well, boy, I'm gonna get out." I said, "Look, all I'm gonna be is in y'all's <laughs> way. I'm going to the house." They said, "Get out of here, old man. You done done what you need to do." Uh, I sent you a picture of the. Those <laughs> let me let me get out yeah. y'all's way. Tell me oh. when the back straps are done. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's where hey, you at. Give me a call. Yeah, give me a call when you got it frying up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we'll be be good. Oh yeah. No, no, no. There, there's the picture. Yeah. Size right. is the one in the middle. Yep. 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 <laughs> and I told him, I said, Look, unless boy, she's got a driver's license, she ain't too. <laughs> hey, oh no, she. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got hey, her look, birth certificate, look, it's going to be hard for me B, to say no, she's two. The yeah. one B case shot was, I mean, you know, hey. Oh, them other two know. was full grown. Oh, well, yeah. no, no, because what they did, one of them, the one that B case shot, she ran it up and just started knocking all the other ones away from the from the stuff we had out. Oh, bullet. You know, B case said, that's being there for, I'm fixed to shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> that is she, how it went down. And she popped it. She well, popped it. What made her mad? Down. That old doe popped, popped a little old yeah, yearling. Popped a little bitty one. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens. Yeah, you bully people, you get shot. That's right. <laughs> we do not hate. We're like old uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy hate, Lee Jones. I hate rudeness in a person, and I won't tolerate it. I hate rudeness. Said, I hate rudeness in a deer, and I won't tolerate it. That's it. Bam. Boy, them two are full grown. Oh, no. oh no, yeah, that, that big that one on the right hurt my back a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it was a uh, heavy. <laughs> so I shot the one like he would have been dragging her out. <laughs> well, no, no, hey, I like. I can her. get her. Well, no, no, I like her. You just grab him by the ear, throw him back in the pick up, go yeah. on the house. Yeah. You ain't even got to hook up your oxygen. <laughs> ain't even got to hook up the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't winded. Lightweight, uh, lightweight, boy. Well, boy, so that I, looks like fun. Oh, I remember hey, when I used to go. No, out. no, <clears throat> look, we sit there and play. <laughs> no, no, look, we used to it, sit there for like 30 minutes playing musical deer. Musical deer? They, yeah, they're all standing together in a wad. And I said, you know, if we was lawbreakers, we could we could shoot one time and drop about four. Yeah, I said, but we got to wait to what? Are they all clear out? And that's when Mama started jumping up and knocking everybody around. <laughs> yeah, you know, clear out. Yeah, you know? there you go. Hey, well, hey, you know a way to get them out of a wad? Get you food out of a pile. Get you a log and then stretch it down the log, oh. and then they'll all stay oh, line up. They're getting a the line. They get away from each other. Then <laughs> that's pro baiting tip. <laughs> okay, you go. not that I bait a lot. But, um, yeah, if you'll get you a log and then stretch it down that well, log, look, then they get hey, in a straight line. Even if you do, it's for uh, management purposes. 
And but hey, look, okay. make sure you turn that log like parallel or perpendicular yeah. to you. That yeah. way they stand in there yeah. broadside. Yeah, you don't want to do this. Okay, yeah. you put it this way where you're looking at them and they line up. No, not just management. They are a fine source of protein. Well, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I, no, the table <clears throat> fare is excellent. Okay. Yeah, give me the straps off yeah. any of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, yeah. cool with it. Yeah. Yep, they're hanging in the cooler as we speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, mm-hmm. that'd be fine there. Yeah. Well, that's what hunting's like. I and remember we've seen, it. what, two, two little button heads, or I should say spikes. And then we've seen, a, he probably was a six-point. I didn't see his brow tines. I don't know if he had them. He, I know he was a four point. There you go. It was fun. Deer hunting with Uncle Si. All right, look. It's well, let's take don't our, get no better. Let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. All right, boys, we're going to fix to take a trip. Oh, boy. To the one place on earth where you can find this product. Where are we going? That's the pristine water off of New Zealand coast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what you find there is Omega XL. Oh, baby. I call it the fountain of youth because, hey, look, your body has got 360 joints. Okay, and every once in a while you do something and you overextend yourself mm. and you get inflammation in one of them joints. Knee, ankle, elbow, whatever. Okay, because, hey, when you get my age, your SPMs are down low, boys. It's harder okay. to make them. Martin, tell them, boy, they can get this fabulous <laughs> product. Oh, man. Omega XL can help restore the SPMs. Our friends over at Omega XL have been with us since the beginning, so it's kind of cool that we're almost two years deep with them. Uh, si has been taking it since then. He still takes it. So, look, let me tell you something. It it obviously works for him whenever he's having a problem. Hey, look, when my back hurts, I've taken it. It it helps. It helps knock the inflammation out, which is the root of all the pain. Omega XL can restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like when you were young. Order Omega XL right now and you get a second bottle for free. Not one, but two bottles. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or you can call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. Not one. But two bottles, and the last one is all free. Whoa, whoa. Order today. Like BK says, beat on the ground. That's her line. Meet on the ground, That's boys. Right. That's right. As soon as she shoots, it's <laughs> meet on the ground, boys. <laughs> I wonder where she got that from. Mm. <laughs> well, hey. Oh, she, Able, make, she makes those fan, noises. It's, it's scary. She'll get in, the, get in the truck and go, oh, whoa, whoa. Good grief. Good night, boys. No, no. As soon, <laughs> soon as we got there. She's been hanging her, out with you too no, long. No, her, yeah. You know, I done got my, my, my vest on and everything, you know, and they both say, her and Emily walked in somewhere, well, what do you, hey, are we going deer hunting or not? You know, and I said, hey, girls. I said, look, they're getting everything ready. Patience. Patience, my child. That's it. You know, they're ready to go. Amen. Yeah. Me too. Very impatient. <laughs> they are impatient. House arrest about over for me. Yeah. When are you getting back? I don't know. Getting back out. <laughs> I don't know, but I've I've had about all the four walls I can stand. So, because yesterday was terrible. I ain't gonna lie. Rough one. Rough one yesterday. They, these kids have been great kids the whole time. Yesterday. He said they they're having a growth spurt. They wanted morning. to eat every forty five yeah. minutes an hour. Yeah. Th- nothing you could do could calm them down. Even oh, the bottle didn't calm feed them down. Feed me. Like, they just big now. mad. Yeah, they just mad. That's that. Feed mad, me and mad, make, mad. And make it this uh, and gassy. <laughs> Ooh, gassy. So I, I can't imagine because that last one we had, she was a bone to be chewed. But I can't imagine having two of them at the same time. Uh, oh yeah. no! Anytime you no. want to, you just come on over. <laughs> well, Art can show you. Well, yeah. Yo, bullfrogs keep, keeps asking me, when's them Martin babies going to be ready to babysit? Hey, when when I feel like that one person can handle both of them, she's in. <laughs> well, if anybody can do it, it's her. Yeah, man, it's just. Right. I, also, I figured out something else. Uh, you know, we've talked about Jason, Phil's phone manners, mm-hmm. phone etiquette. Look, Jason, Phil have the same phone etiquette as a man with two brand new baby twins. 
<laughs> well, no, no, I, 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 it's, I, no, no. It's like you got no answer, no response. But I get it. Yeah. But I, I thought to myself, and I'd chuckle. I say, you know, Martin, with two brand new baby twins, has the same phone manners as Jace does. Yeah. But Jace don't have any babies. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, he no. does. He he does have a baby now. I forgot about yeah. that. Oh no, they got one. But hey, that that ain't that's a Robertson trait. Oh, I know. I'm well aware. We hate <laughs> phones. I try to get back okay. to everybody at the end of the day, but like right now, if you call on a twelve, three, six, or nine, you're out. Yeah, like uh, not answer. I'll try to get back to you, but yesterday there was no getting back to anybody because yeah. there was just sit your phone down and you got to wrestle these kids. Yeah. And man, it was rough. You look well but, rested. Yeah, yeah, well, I slept from nine to twelve today before we did this. That's good. So. A.M. Uh, yes, A.M. I was yes. always amazed. I couldn't, I couldn't feed them fast enough, man. Well, that's the way okay, yesterday okay. was. No, no, seriously. You know, I was watching Chris Dan, and I said, you know, because it's. <laughs> Here's what I'll tell you on this deal. Brittany uh, had this deal to relieve the gas of them boys. That's wild. <laughs> the okay. thing you shove in their rectum, and it like, you rub their belly, and it'll like whistle. And when it whistles, that means the gas come through, and there's a barrage behind it. Like, you better have that diaper ready, son. This is new to me. Yeah. I ain't heard of this it's, one. I don't remember what it's uh, called, but I ordered about 30 more of them after I saw how well it worked and how quick it got the fussiness down. Oh, wow. But it'll, it'll just, like, you put it in there, and then, and when you hear that. Pack up. There, there ain't no time. That diaper better be there, or you about to have a mess on your hands. And, uh, but once we did that, it was one of the most bizarre things I've ever witnessed. I, I gagged on the second one and, uh, <laughs> I mean, my face was way too close and, um, <laughs> but it worked. They calmed down. That was the longest calm stretch they had all day. So I was like, really? I'm, I'm, I'm buying more of these. Like there's something made by Frida baby or something. I don't know. It's just a little tube. You go. It's a gas relief. Yeah. Except you, you, you stop it from the bottom. You, you open the valve that's, at the bottom. That's wild. Once you open that valve, yeah. son, Get everything ready. You comes better have, out. Yeah, you better be ready. But then they just like, they chill. Now, when you put it in there, the reaction is as you would expect. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> but once they get the relief, they're like, oh, I get it now. Oh, I get it now. So they're so. grumpy, and then that happens. And and, that, and then, then they get real mad for a second. And then when the relief comes, they're like, oh, I'm chill. So uh, it was, uh, yeah, things you didn't know existed. She said, I got these things. And we looked at it, and you'd like put coconut oil on the end of it, and you just. Is that just for babies? Yeah. Well, I mean, it may work on you. Probably need a bigger <laughs> nozzle, though. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably gonna need more than a diaper. They may need a bed sheet or something, or may need to do it in the bathtub uh, before you can get away from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All we ever had for that was like some medicine. No, oh, I found it. There you go. Look the at that. gas passer. There you go. They That's, come in king size. Do they? What is this? A candy bar? No, it ain't that. <laughs> it's the exact opposite of happiness. <laughs> oh man, Wendy the gas pack. Wendy, that's what it was. Wendy, I knew it was somebody. Comes name. in a ten pack. Yeah, you can buy them on a thirty pack on Amazon. Mm. That's news to me. There you go. See things you learn. Te technology boys. Yeah, yep. they, I don't think that was a thing when uh, I had oh, no. kids. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you right now, miracle worker. Oh yeah, that, that, everything's come a long way, boys. Yeah. It ain't nothing but a piece of plastic. Yeah. You go. When that thing whistles, man, you better get out the way. It's like a train station. <laughs> <laughs> it whistles. No, no, but hey, the engineer just blew the horn because yeah. there's a train coming by. Yeah, when that, when that air releases, <laughs> you better get out the way. You better move all valuables out the way because uh, it's coming. Oh, boy. It's like old Doc Holliday. It's coming and hell's coming with it. That's right. Uh, that's just, <laughs> that's it. Uh, but the, the immediate relief among along the baby makes you realize okay that that's somebody was thinking here. well i imagine they probably adapt pretty quickly yeah yeah but so they what, were, what's that and then so oh yo wait a minute that, oh yeah that's all right they three weeks old now and growing yeah. like a weed like we we getting rid of clothes and it's it's uh <laughs> they ain't fitting in stuff no more so oh, boy. it's uh it's wild uh, but wendy's got great reviews on amazon hey i'll give them one that yeah. thing worked now it works 
I'm oh, telling yeah. you right now it works. So yeah. if you're a new parent and you've got a baby with gas problem, don't well, depend on just them drops. That's right. Hey. Windy can, the gas pass. You can you can take matters into your own hands. Right. You can take charge <laughs> of this and solve it. Yeah. You just better be quick. Yep. Don't don't Man. mess around with that diaper. Problem is, is you got it open though, so you end up inevitably you get peed on. We both got peed on usually. Well, uh, yeah. You know. So but it's <laughs> it's wise. whatever it is. You know, it's hey, babies, man. I, I'm uh, learning stuff every stinking day. I just learned something. Uh, there you go. But today they're chill. Like today they've been, but yesterday was not okay. They were just not. I was questioning things yesterday. I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh. These wolves are hungry, uh-uh. boys. I can't. I, I'm not. I can't keep up with this. Like I cannot physically keep up with it. You got said, to give me an hour. He said, or so. I cannot do this. They gave you three. That was this morning. Oh, oh, that's right. Yesterday was this much. Mm. This much yesterday. Just think about having four of them. Why? Well, why would you do that? No, why? no, no, no. I'm serious because there's people that have had quadruple, quadruplets. Yeah, and I feel bad for them. No, no. How do you handle that? It makes that? me thankful for twins. Yeah, you got to hire somebody. Yeah, you you can't. You gonna to have to take out a loan and oh. tell the <clears> bank. <throat> Look, here's what I'm using it for. Maybe you'll get it back one day. I don't know. <laughs> you know, because at two, you you consider and hiring help. I can tell you that right oh, yeah. now. Like I didn't but, see my sister f- when she had twins for like four or five months. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why. Or my yeah. mom. Yeah. She was like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm mom's at- been there. My mom's yeah, been there. Yeah, you're talking an adjustment. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're telling me. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Unreal. It's crazy. No. It is crazy times. But there, you know, again, if it's like today, there's there's no problem. They eat. They stay awake for 30 minutes. They go to sleep. Yesterday, they eat. They stayed awake for 30 minutes, and then they turned into Wild Wild West. Like, just <laughs> didn't matter. You walked. You rocked. <laughs> did everything you could think of. Didn't matter. Until oh. that helped. That helped. That, that helped. gave them an hour. That My gave s- you an hour to get your wits about you. My sister and brother-in-law saw that getting dominated. Like, yeah. We would know that they were like, yeah, we got dominated. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, yesterday was one of them days. They won. Yeah. <laughs> well, your brother-in-law's uh, like Johnny Ringo. Uh-oh. Who's Johnny Ringo? Oh, you don't even know who He's Johnny just a little Ringo high is. strong. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> he bouncing around a lot. He, he yeah. come to a bad end, and I'll just give you that. Uh, uh, well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> You know what is super uncomfortable? Getting stuck in a Black Friday crowd. Oh. You know what's really comfortable? Shopping Tommy John's before Black Friday sale. Before Uh-oh. Black Friday sale. Uh-oh. Hey, it's going on right now. What? And look, we wearing Tommy John's right now. Tommy John's, they got customers. What they got, sir? Uh, they got fanatics, boys. We love them. Look, if you're looking for the perfect gift for somebody that's hard to buy for, Tommy John, ain't Here's nobody going to be mad that you got a Tommy it. John. Yeah. Trust me on that one. When you give your loved ones Tommy John, they're that much more comfortable so that they can do everything better. Shop Tommy John's before Black Friday sale now and give the gift of comfort to everyone on your list, including yourself. With Tommy John's men and women's loungewear, with over 18 million pairs sold, giving Tommy John underwear and loungewear has become a holiday tradition. 97% of women and men love getting a gift from Tommy John. I'm one of those 97% because I like getting underwear for Christmas. I don't know it's it's great just gift. what it is. But Tommy John doesn't have customers. They do have fanatics. You can celebrate softness season with the gift of Tommy John underwear, loungewear, and pajamas. Every gift's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. We wear them every day. So I got like 19, 20 pair of them now. He only got to do laundry once a month. It's fantastic for Them pajama pants, best thing that ever happened to me. And it's pajama pants season, right? I mean, that's what it is. Look, Si loves them. So will you. Shop Tommy John's before Black Friday sale going on right now and get 25% off everything at TommyJohn.com slash duck. That is 25% off for a limited time only at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck, boys. Order them now. See site for details. Okay. When they're out, they're out. I saw your mom went ahead and, and got after it. What, what's what's up with decorating for Christmas in Man, October? I don't know. I, I decorate early. I, I will fully admit. A lot of people do. Right before Thanksgiving, I'm putting the lights up and all that. But then I was on a retreat this weekend um, with some dudes from church. And then I went and ate dinner at my parents' house last night. And I walked in and there's, there's Christmas trees and... 
it's, it's October and they're everywhere. And I was like, huh. And I said, well, I'm a post about this. And what I learned mm. was that people are, are either really mad that she would do such a thing or really happy. No in between. Well, really? I was say, no, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, whenever you decorate for Christmas matters to other people, and I don't why? really get that. But why is that? Why would you be mad at somebody that it's a joyous time of the year for that person? Yeah. Now I consider it aggressive, but it doesn't upset me. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, it was guy, aggressive. There's a guy that when I go down the fields, okay, he always he, he just put them out. He puts you know Christmas lights everywhere. Puts uh. The things out in the yard, deers, and the, you know, he does it. I mean, he he goes whole hog. Yeah. Well, but, hey, it makes oh, him happy. Is that yeah. the same guy who had the, the RV out there with the with the? Uh, no, no, that's the other guy. The cousin that, Eddie holding. Yeah, that's holding, the other guy holding the hose. Did, did you see that thing? Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, down by uh, Phil's house. Oh no no. Yeah, on the way there. It's hilarious. <laughs> Look, well, I tell you right where it's at. It's right past where you see the signs says prairie on. Yeah. Yeah. The next house. So this guy. Uh, I off, thought it was somebody actually out there sitting in front of him. No, you know. It was Uncle got Eddie. A, it was, you got a mannequin of yeah. Uncle Eddie out there <laughs> emptying the crapper. Because it's, well, it's full. And there's a, <laughs> stick, it's full. there's a big sign, like on Christmas <laughs> vacation, and on the sign it says. It's full. It's full, except that's not what it says. Yeah. It says uh, what was said in the movie. Yeah. And I laugh every time I no, drive by it. No, no, I had to stop because I actually thought it was somebody in there. I thought, oh, oh, yeah. You idiot. Oh, hey. it's a full size man. If he, if with he the runs hat. that back, will you take a selfie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop and take a selfie. Oh, he'll oh, put it out. If he runs that back, just let me know. I'm driving down yeah. there. And oh, no, it's well, I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking no. I'll take the boys down there and take a picture in yeah. front of it, put them out in front of it. Because there's never been a more true statement of an infant than that. That's right. That's right. It's, full. it's full. It's full. Yeah, I'm going to take Sal over and put him in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture. Get him a bathrobe. Yeah. And just have Sal be the other Uncle Ed. Bathrobe, a cigar, and one of those one of those uh, hats. Yeah. What, what you can get those? that out of Jason's truck. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, uh, only man still rocking oh, them hat. The bomber hat. Yeah. He loves them. The old bomber hat. That's funny. I, yeah. gave, I gave him his first one. And, and like, he wore that thing till it was slammed. Just, it was rags. Mm. Man alive. But, but yeah, people have opinions is what I learned. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a Thanksgiving. Let Thanksgiving get here and then decorate for Christmas. But again, your mom did it in October. I find it aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make me mad, and it you're, doesn't make me happy. They would have been very indifferent yeah, about if it. If there had been Christmas music playing, I would have. I would have had to call a time. Yeah, if yeah, it, if it, it had actually, been a very Neville Christmas playing, then hey, Kay yeah. goes with the music. Okay, because now, oh no, it's Christmas shit. Christmas what? Music. Christmas music. music. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, Kay don't That's take her tree hall. down till April. Yeah. So. Uh, well, hey, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, it's barely just had time to get put up. So, <laughs> I remember when. Uh, well, the only reason she takes it down is she's found something else to bring into the house, and there ain't no place to put it. <laughs> That's right. Another two dogs. I'm yeah, they're, they're serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of dogs, I remember when Bobo was just a little puppy, and he was about this long, and uh, I walked in there. Si was laying on the couch taking him a nap. And I saw his beard start to move. And Bobo was under it. And I saw Bobo stuck his little head up from underneath, <laughs> right in the middle of Sai's beard. That was the last time Bobo was innocent. <laughs> That's right. right there. That was the end of Bobo's innocence right there. Uh, but now she's got them two little little old miniature rat terrier rat puppies, terrier, BB and Bobo. Bobo never dies. She just right. gets another There's one. Another generation. Place. Yeah. And, and names him Bobo. <laughs> Used to be Jesse. Yeah, and then we we swapped swapped to Bobo. Jesse to JJ to Jesse Bobo was Jesse James the fifth or something. And then somehow he got hung with Bobo, and now we've started over on Bobos and BBs and Babas and yep. Doodas. Ain't no telling what it'll end up being. Oh, it's, by a, the... it's a zoo over there. <laughs> when when my dog goes, I'm gonna take a a nice solid dog break. I think. Yeah, when you go to K's, just realize that ain't Halloween candy on the floor. Oh no, <laughs> them ain't Tootsie Rolls. Don't bring so. your kids. <laughs> <laughs> since halloween just passed what what'd your kids go as johnny d well we had fancy nancy um yeah. hit, hit show i love it 
I have to watch a lot. Um, <clears throat> and then Mario, no, Toad from Mario, and then a creeper. A creeper. I went as Santa Claus, though. Creeping. Really? I said, if she's going to dress up the house, and I, then I'm going to go as Santa Claus. There you go. How you look at so you? So I just threw it on, beard. I, you put the white beard over it, but you know, you got to pull it yeah. down. But yeah, I'm just going to go as Santa Claus. Every um, year? Well, not no. Oh. I don't know. Last year I was a dog. I bought that dog costume a long time ago. It's really paid for itself. <laughs> it's for like Carter's first birthday, and I, if I get lazy and I'm like, "Hey, Dad, are you gonna dress up?" I'm like, "Let me go." Brittany dressed the boys up as little pumpkins, but I mean that's just a onesie that zips over them. So <laughs> you know, we had a sign on our door that said, "Don't knock, take what you want, and get out of here." <laughs> Don't knock. Don't ring the doorbell. These boys are trying to sleep. If you, Please leave. If you wake don't, these do babies, wake them. you take them with you. Texas That's what I should have put. Massacre. You know, I should have put on there, if you wake them, you take them. That's right. If you wake them, you take them. You wake them, you take them. That's, that's pretty good there. That's what the sign should have said. You Go ahead and get that sign laminated, by the way. And, like, just get a perm. Allison, like, every other day to this day for the past eight years is like, she's like, if somebody shows up, I'm like, do we get that many packages like that we need a sign on the doorbell every day? She's like, I don't care. I don't uh, want that baby. Our wake. delivery people are pretty cool. They know us by now. They just drop it up under the garage and call it good. They don't even knock. They know we're going to come out there and pick it up. So, yeah. but you know, trick or treaters, they're, they're just doing their thing. They don't mean no harm. Them kids. And, but they don't know who's asleep in there. So, you know, I just, I set a bucket out and said, if the first one takes it all, that's between them and Jesus. If they if they're right and this lasts all night, great. You know, I don't really care either way. So we got a lady that yes. gave out uh, ramen noodles in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. A lot of people give them out. It's a great. It's it better. Great. For hey, you. when we had what was it? Probably eight years ago, nine years ago, when I first moved into that subdivision, it was like the first Halloween or whatever, and I just got back from an appearance, and I had a bunch of duck calls with me. I gave out duck calls. <laughs> I gave out Uncle Si duck calls because we, no we had them to give away to another deal. And I was like, well, they're already earmarked for a giveaway. Let's do some local marketing because right. I hadn't got no candy. So I just started handing out duck calls. And then everybody, all the kids that were like <clears throat> a little older that thought it was cool, they all come up and say, you got any more of them duck calls? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I got some. What they, you want? What yeah. you after? Yeah, they may Single read, a, double read. Where yeah. you at, son? They Let's, may have pulled a Willie and told me how he went somewhere and sold them. Yeah, well, they may have. <laughs> and that's up to them. Hey, that's but, up to them. One of my favorite Halloween memories, a couple of years ago, we were trick-or-treating in the neighborhood, and we're passing the street, you know, that all the Robertsons live on, and uh, this kid goes, hey, man, telling to his friends on the bike, we got to go down this street, go see Duck Dynasty. I bet they give out the big candy. And I was like, that poor kid's about to ring Jace's doorbell, and Jace is going to growl at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Jace going to hand out shotgun shells and Yeti <laughs> cups. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> he'll be, he'll be huh? sitting in, in, the, in Halloween. the Yeti chair. Yeah. That's that. I didn't know Halloween was so controversial, by the way. Oh, yeah. What about the devil? Well, it's, it's like, yeah. there's some people that are mad if you celebrate it. Yeah. And we only got a minute, why so I brought that up late. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I but yeah. I just, I'm like, hey, if you're going to be Mario and Luigi and go get candy, do that. But if it, I mean, there is a line somewhere where it's getting weird. Yeah. It's just a way to celebrate kids having fun. I don't, I don't think that anybody, for the most part, gets too involved down here of what some people say it is. That's cuckoo stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's why. I don't even like the movies. But I mean, can't you say that about any holiday? It goes, I yeah, mean, you could. like, can you not say that about just about anything? Like, People like, always going to try and take something and turn it for bad. Yeah, take the, leave the innocence in it. Let the kids dress up as their favorite character from something. Go get them some candy and go on about it. You ain't got to get on Google. <laughs> there ain't no law that said you got to get on Google. You ain't got to look up what it may have started as or what. You know, I, but it was actually like something about All Saints Day. Yeah. I've been because I, I, people be bringing their guns out, so I'm like, I got to be on the defense here because I don't want Toad to be in trouble for sinning for eating a Snickers bar. Or Fancy Nancy. Yeah, Fancy Nancy in trouble now. And hey, Santa Claus ain't ever done nothing wrong. Oof, See. See. <laughs> I'm gonna throw everybody off it. Of <laughs> Santa Claus for Halloween. It's my new thing. <laughs> oh well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. What else we got, huh? I'm supposed to bring you. Uh, Allison's cooking you food. If you want to talk about that. Oh, what's she cooking? Uh, it's up to you. That's oh. all we can talk about. 
Just tell her to throw that Pioneer Woman cookbook open and whatever she lands on. I'm yeah, good with Allison it. told me, she said, I've texted Brittany and I'm going to bring them some food. I said, Oh, what you bringing? So I was like, I'll ask Martin. Yeah. So I, I, made a, I made an adjustment on those uh, boneless chicken thighs. Yeah. Put them in a bag and soak them in some Catalina dressing. Yeah. Catalina. Good. It can't be bad. Oh. I mean, I smoked two chickens yesterday. So look at you. Well, you were awake all twenty four hours. Yeah, I didn't not? have nothing else to do. I was like, well, maybe I'll take them outside. Then I was like, oh, I got them two chickens in the refrigerator, so I brined them and let them do their thing, and then took them out and seasoned them, and throw them, throw them on a pit box. That, that brine where it's where that where it's at on the bird. If you got time, mm-hmm. there's no reason not to brine him. Yep. But I mean, I understand. Lot sometimes you ain't got time, but it, again. One thing I got right now at home is a lot of time. There's, I'm just sitting there. So um, you've been watching a lot of late night PBS. Just as- no, no, I've been watching a lot of late night TBS. Uh, all the old sitcoms from TBS. Except last night they played every Jurassic Park movie from. Mm. But you can't go to sleep with that because there's too much flashing and moving. So you know you just end up somewhere else. But and then it gets bad. Then it gets good again. You're like, oh, it's yeah. gonna be good. Then it gets terrible. Yeah. So it's. <laughs> But no, yeah, no, it's been a lot of what, like George Lopez, Family Matters, Steve Urkel, man. I didn't Urkel's even know. on? Yeah, like 4 a.m. 4 a.m., Urkel. Yeah, if you, need a, if you need to go back in the vault, and I'm like, wow, I actually remember this stuff. This I hadn't crazy. seen Urkel in a minute. Yeah. Oh, Urkel. Yeah, it was. Uh, what was your favorite sitcom there, Sai? Probably Archie Bunker. Oh, Family Man? Yeah, he was always. Family, you know, I don't know. What family. time's that one come on? That's all TV land. I don't think it's on anymore. Yeah. Her, what, all Archie? in the family. Family what, yeah. something. Yeah, all, all in the family. Something about something family. family. Yeah. And what was the lady's name? Edith. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We got help. Beth knows over there, but yeah. <laughs> no, all in the family, yeah. I used to that, watch Sanford. That was so. actually funny because they, have, they got, they got, they got yep. in a lot of trouble <laughs> for the stuff that they brought up, and Archie would say something about it. Yeah. You know, you racial old man, whatever, you know, all this garbage. Yeah, Archie was pretty controversial oh, yeah. back in them days. Yeah. Was he? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I never watched it. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. He was, he, you know. Yeah. I, I, I like the Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son, you big dummy. Yeah. Yeah. I used to watch that. My dad used to love it. I guess I get it now because I was like, why does he keep watching a show he's watched a thousand right. times? And now here I it's am. A, it's a big one, Elizabeth. I'm watching, coming. Watching a show I've watched a thousand times. Oh, it's funny. Watching King of Queens, watching Two and a Half Men, you yep. know, like I mean, I'm like I've seen all these, I don't know how many times, and I'm still, it's 3 a.m. and I'm watching it like a Matchbox 20 song. Seinfeld, like, you know. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. <laughs> you really have had a lot of time on your hands, Martin. <laughs> Just telling you, man. I mean, the rare Duck Call Room Matchbox 20 reference. Hey, Matchbox. That was 20. good. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I, every what time, else have you been doing? Well, every time that the clock turns to three, because they have to be woken up to feed, then I, 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 don't, I, I set my alarm to that. <laughs> 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 you got to find something to keep yourself entertained during this whole thing, man. He's like, just entertaining himself. Like that's what I figured out. You've got to figure out a way to entertain yourself during this whole deal, because at three a.m. you are lonely. It's a it's a lonely place to be. And you're like, well, all right, I got to wake up. You're at the top and you're lonely. And like yesterday, because yesterday was so rough when it was three this morning, they were both sleeping like little angels. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to wake you up. You're content. <laughs> I don't want to wake you up and feed you. There's that's a when, that's that. when I'd just let them, hey, nope. Never wake when they up. wake up, then I'll feed them. Hey, look. That's the and way. that is okay. <laughs> as soon as we get the clearance from the pediatrician tomorrow, oh, yeah. hopefully, oh, oh. that they're back at their birth weight, yeah. then at night I will let them okay. wake me yeah. up. But right yeah. now I can't take that chance because, oh, yeah. okay. like, I still okay. got to get them back up. Yep, to, back to the weight. Yeah. yeah. I got to get them back up to weight. So, or I, we, um, Brittany is right there beside me for every one of them. So, um yeah, no. As soon as we get that at nighttime, we'll let them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll let them sleep till they wake up. But right now, we gotta. Hey, buddy. Wake up. Time, time to eat. Big Here guy. you go. And you know what? They always eat. So <laughs> <laughs> if if you feed them, they'll. If you wake them up, they'll say, "Yeah, I'll, I'll take that." So you might as well. Yeah, might as well. What else have I got? Yeah, you to woke do? me up. I might as well eat. Yeah. So um, it was just yesterday was the first day I struggled waking them up because yesterday during the day and. Leading up to about midnight was so rough. 
Mm. Well, you know, those babies and Si have a lot in common. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wake them up to feed them. Wake them up. Change eat. them. Eat. <laughs> eat. Go to the bathroom. Go back to sleep. Right. Hey, it is true. Check and make sure they're breathing. <laughs> hey, second, second childhood. Second childhood, boys. <laughs> uh, that is what uh, Si uh, and Christine been trying to get me something for these kids this whole time. I said, just wait. Like, we got a bunch of stuff. We'll, there'll be something we don't have. Yeah. And so I finally, Christine asked me the other day, she said, is there, you figured it out? And I said, I You finally I did. get something? I did. And it's one that's in breathing monitors for them. And that's what Cy and Christine got us. So when we get done with it, I'll bring it back. That no. way you can put it on your foot. Uh, no. <laughs> we can, we no. can keep up I, with you. You give, it somebody, yeah. you give it to somebody that's having babies. I might uh, have. Uh, I don't know. I, I got a pair of them right here. So I oh, delivered yeah. them today. I think I gave mine to or whoever, whichever kid had it, uh, yeah. Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. When she gives it to somebody else that's having They a make kid. them mats. Yeah. I will say, the only problem with them is, you know, if the battery goes dead, you are going to poop yourself and have a heart attack in the middle of the night <laughs> and take off running, and then you'll go, oh, okay. Okay, we're Just fine. a heads up. Yeah. That <laughs> that's may or fine. may not happen. That's but. fine. I'm cool with that. Well, we bought, we got that expensive camera that's got like the tracking technology on it, the Nanit thing or whatever. What? Yeah, that's got like a band you wrap around your kids. So that's supposed to like be able to keep up somehow, however that works. Well, I can't believe but, they didn't give you just two bands. Well, but it can only register one at a time. I bought an extra band, oh, and cool. it only picks up one of them. Yeah, that's ah. cool. So you have to have another camera. You would have to have two of them to do two bands. That's and just a ripoff. That, yeah. I'm not going to say it's not, but there seems <laughs> that there should be a way you would think that they could, could do, it. do yeah. something with yeah. it. Because you can see both yeah. of the kids very clearly. In the camera. That's so, the craziest thing. So we're we're bypassing that and going with the sock that Cy si and Christine got us. So, um, yeah. So they'll have a little sock strapped to them from now on instead of, you know, you good? Yeah, well, <laughs> you that's good, what I was going to say. That's what I did. My first one, she was right beside the bed and I went to sleep just like this. Yep. Hand on. I can't yeah. tell you how many times <laughs> I've done that. Because, like, you know, especially on, like, the 3 o'clock feeding whenever – they don't really want to burp or something because they're about half asleep. Yeah. And you're like, so you sit them up so they don't cough up anything yeah, and think, choke or nothing. Worried, so yeah. the whole time you're sitting there like, yes, yep. just making sure. Until, you know, about an hour later and you figure out, I need to go to sleep now. Yeah, no, in an hour, I got to wake up again. And, and do I this figured out, though, again. by the time that third one rolled around, I had her on the other end of the house. <laughs> as far away from me as I could get her. <laughs> her and her mama. No, <laughs> no I, I, I'm not that bold uh, as to do something like that. Yeah, That's she's a Robertson. You know, I'm, I'm not able to get hurt. <laughs> uh, oh, baby, man, they are. Yep. You actually do that when you get older too. What's that? I'm talking about you breathing? You over? You good? <laughs> yeah, no, no, you, you good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wonder if I'm when breathing or not. When y'all said that, I will let you know. Yeah. I've been having to check my dog a lot lately. Make sure he's all right. And you got to get like, right? That's the one that's been weird. Our dog Nudging. is just like, Jude is Oh, just, no, no, no. They're, she act concerned, but at the same time, after yesterday, I looked up yesterday, she just went and got in her kennel and laid on her back. She's like, I'm over this. <laughs> she done had <laughs> enough of it, Yeah, tell me, I don't care. She yeah. I don't care. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, she went and got in her kennel, and for <laughs> the first, I, I've seen it a handful of times maybe, but she was just laid on her back, all fours up in the air saying- I'm tired. Uh, take me, Jesus. I don't know what she was doing. I, I mean, but she she had waved the white flag of surrender during the whole thing too. So, but the cool thing about it is, ever since these kids showed up, Tennessee Vols are undefeated. They're gonna put that streak to the test against oh, Georgia. No, 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 no. So, yeah, Tennessee gonna be, good. That's gonna be a game. They good. If they both play ball, that's gonna be a game to watch. They good, and their mama's fired up about it. So right. I'm happy with it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I watch them whoop up on. Kentucky the other night. Yeah. Tennessee and LSU undefeated since they've been born. Look at them. That's all I'm saying. And yeah. the Saints. Oh, no. That no. No, they've lost a few. Hey, they won yesterday. They back. Yeah. Are they back. False hopes. <laughs> uh, well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. All right, Johnny D. Mail time. Mailbag. Mailbag. What's in there? First off, somebody sent a whole bunch of chocolate-covered pretzels to me at work the other day. I forgot your name, but I had it, and I was going to thank you today. I'm going to thank you later. 
because I don't know your name, but thank you either way. Uh, somebody sent me a bunch of chocolate cigars saying it's a boy. There so you go. I don't remember the names. I went through that stuff. Like, there's a lot of people that sent a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I, I that's. I, I'll try to get back to you one day, yeah. name by yeah. name, but just know that I've got it. And We've got it, it, and we appreciate it, and thank yep. you. So, yep. and then our email. Oh boy, we're not gonna cry. Look at me. We're not crying. All right. Uh, got a lot of Nick U emails in. Just hey, thanking us for that episode. But we got one. Uh, Grayson and Emily just had their baby very recently. Uh, real early, nine weeks early. Three pounds, one ounce. Um, but it's going good. But like, then they they're in the NICU, and then we did that episode, and so it's just this whole thing that I can't read without getting emotional. But. Uh, he just asked for prayers and sent a picture of Penny. Penny's the daughter. So I, and the, every, that one like just came in while I was sitting here and I was yeah. reading, and I was like, but everybody that emailed in, I know Martin appreciates it. Si appreciates it. Hey, I I'm telling you, it. I, I, I'm cool with like bringing in somebody one day that works in the NICU up in here. Them, them people are rock stars, man. Mm-hmm. The, the, those folks that work in there are I got some incredible. wild I went to New Orleans, so I got some wild Cajun NICU nurses if we want to get like a weird episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they are, and that place is gut riching. And if right now you find yourself there, just know that God's with you and you know, this this too shall pass and um you know, take it for what it's worth. But those those people that are working in there alongside of them are are real life heroes. They are to keep the kind of outlook that they keep and to keep you sane for yeah. the most part. Cause it's, it's, it's easy to lose sanity up in that place. So, yeah. and we got a ton of emails. So to everyone that emailed in, I read them, I must send some of them Mar- or all of them, Martin. Yeah. We appreciate it for sure. Um, and then old Bernie from Winkler, Manitoba, Canada. Manitoba. Oh, I thought you was going to say New Hampshire. Beth, Ooh. is that where you're from? She's not from there. I heard she was from Canada. Did you know Beth's from Canada? She's Canadian. The person she's in charge of she's all Canuck, of keeping boy. all of us wrangled is from Canada. Well, that's she's good. Canuck. That's where all the ducks are made. That's yeah. how it makes sense. Well, this is, Burn Dog is from Winkler, Manitoba, Canada, and he had a kind of a kind of a deep question, but at the same time, I don't know that it's deep. Uh, he wants to know: Can you forgive someone even if they don't ask you for forgiveness? I mean, dun dun. dun. Yeah. If you feel wrong, don't you have to forgive them even if they don't ask you, like, to keep moving on in life? I don't. Well, that goes along with people say, okay, I'm going to forgive you, but I ain't going to forget it. Well, hey, you didn't forgive me. If you're still holding on to it, when you say I forgive you, you move on. Yeah. You know, God, the- God does it the best, okay? Just white piece of paper. You know, he wipes it clean. It ain't there no more. And the human race needs to learn that, okay, and especially to ourselves, okay. So, because a lot of, I've heard a lot of people tell me, "Oh, I'm just so bad, he can't forgive me." Hey, Jesus is big enough and powerful enough; he can take care of it, dude. Trust me. He's already taken care. Yeah, of it. yeah. He takes care of it. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And yes, you can you can forgive the man, even Without if him. they haven't asked for it. Like, cause yeah, yeah. If you if you don't forgive someone, it's going to hurt. Even if they didn't ask for it, it's going to bug you. It's going to plant a seed of bad in you. More than it's going to bug them. It's going to fester. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously it didn't bother them, and they walked away from it for the most it, part. It's like when your body so, gets infected. Yeah, get it out okay. of there. You, you either got a, like a thorn, you got to take it out and get it out, or it's going to fester up and get, get real irritating. Mm-hmm. You know, and the same thing with sin. Yeah. Okay. I always told I told Al when when he was having trouble. Okay. Well, unless you've been wronged and you know you don't know what forgiveness is. You know, if you've been never done anybody never did you wrong, you're blessed. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> most of us, okay, yeah, things has happened and people's done you wrong. Amen. You got to move on. Yeah. You know, but forgive I give them you, and move on. I think you can. I mean, yeah. I, again, I'm, I'm a side. If you leave it in there, it's going to fester. And then no telling where that turns into. So oh, get no. it out of there. For quickly. years. And uh, years, people have, have won't even talk in their family for crying out loud. Yeah. You know, that's when it, hey, that's, that's dangerous. 
Yeah. Okay, you're because you're you know uh, divided. What united we stand, divided we fall. Yep. Okay, that's the thing there. And and hey, um, they might not know that they need to ask you. Yeah, for, for them it may not be a big deal. Yeah. They might have no idea what you're thinking of. So um, feel the burn, let it go. Well, and <laughs> <laughs> and there's also a little something about you know. If you got a problem with a brother, go to them. Yeah. So if you need to forgive someone, they might not ever ask you. So you might need to go to them and say, hey, man, I got to let you know something's been bugging the snot out of me. Yeah. And I forgive you. And you might be surprised at where that takes Just you. like that old boy showed up in here that day when we were actually building duck calls in this room. It come in and pointed a finger at Jay said, I've been mad at you for 30 years. We're like, uh-oh. Jay said, huh? Yeah, we're like, no, <laughs> what? And he said, yeah, you shared the gospel with me, and I, I didn't appreciate it because I didn't think I was doing nothing wrong. And you used to tell me I was doing something wrong. Then they left here and went to Mississippi River, and Jace baptized the boy. But for 30 years, that boy was mad, big mad at Jace. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing. <laughs> like, hey, you know? When you, when you give them the truth, it's yeah. either, it's either going to going affect you. Yeah. You're going to be mad, glad, or, you know, make sending you out of here. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that person may not know. So if it is bothering you, get it out of there. Forgive them and move on. I, I, that's my opinion on and it. And if you need so. to, if they're close to you, approach, Go talk to them. approach them and move on. Yeah. Open, honest yes. conversation. And that leads us into our next email. <laughs> because the subject line is, what is known. is manageable. It's manageable. That's what I'm talking about. And we, I might get to preaching here because I just went on a men's retreat and I'm kind of fired up about Jesus right now, boys. I'll give us your best three minutes. Hey, give so <laughs> Sean from H Town, go Astros, is a big fan of the podcast. Um, he wants us to. Know, he didn't say go Astros, by the way. I did. Um, he said we've had a huge impact on his life, which is wild to think about. But he said he struggled with alcohol. It, this isn't a question, by the way. Yeah. This is just an awesome story. Um, and it's troubled his soul. So then he heard an episode where Phil said, what is known is manageable. And he decided right there to let my family and his employer know what he was dealing with, how he had guilt, shame, and he just threw it all out on the table. This is what I'm struggling with. This is my problem. This, here it is. This is me. Love it. Since then, I've completely recovered my health and integrity. I am two months sober, and my relationship with Christ and life in general has improved tremendously. Whoa, whoa. Please share on your show what being honest with ourselves and others whom love us and a relationship with our Savior can do in and around our lives. God bless all of y'all, and I hope to meet y'all. Love, your brother, Sean. Sean. Gets it. Congratulations for being two months sober. Ain't that the truth. Okay. And not only that, dude, hey, you first have got to realize you have a problem. That's the first step to correcting it. And okay. it's amazing what a little accountability will do That's for it. you. I mean, because he all of a sudden surrounded himself with people to hold him accountable for what he's doing. It's like it's biblical or yep. something. Uh-huh. Yep. And that's all. Sean, man. Know that I'm glad you you think we had something to do with that. We didn't have nothing to do with that. Yeah. That's a good Lord. That that that's 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 the Almighty pricking your heart and saying there's a problem and you recognizing it and then you taking the steps. The step ain't to correct easy. Correct said problem. The step uh, ain't easy. And it's but... always easier if you bring Jesus into the picture because hey, nothing's too big for Jesus to handle, baby. Man, that's awesome. Hey, there it is. Yep. Sean, I'm happy for you, buddy. Are you hey, right? that's that's cool, man. That's two, really two cool. Two months. Look, and you got eternity to go. They ain't saying there ain't going to be roadblocks and stumbles in the way, but keep your accountability up, keep your thing going, and keep rocking and rolling, Sean. And that's keep your eyes on Jesus. And then I got a new favorite Bible verse, by the way. Go I'm, ahead. I'm oh. on it right oh. now. Go ahead. Second Corinthians 12, 9, and 10, and this is what Sean just did by emailing in. Uh Paul's talking about how he has a problem. He doesn't say what the problem is, because he, but he, the people he knew probably did. Mm -hmm. And he talked about how he prayed for it to go away, and God told him, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 
which is real confusing to, if you think about it, but God's power is made perfect in our weaknesses, which is what Sean's doing by telling other people what God did in his life. So therefore, I will boast all more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses and insults and hardships and persecutions and difficulties for when I am weak, then I am strong. My man, Sean, you sent that email in. I got all fired up about this Bible verse, and then they got all meshed together today. So I just want you to know that is what you just lived out. You had a weakness. You told some people about it. You turned to Jesus about it. And now I can almost guarantee you somebody listening right now is going to say, ah, oh, crap. And the great part is you is. overcame your weakness. Yep. And it's going to be a struggle every day, but you can do it. We're yep. cheering for you. Sean, I love you. You've arguably got the hardest two months out of the way, Sean. That's it. So, rock, rock and roll, baby. That's awesome. Look, thank y'all so much for joining us here in the Duck Call Room. It's been another great week. Let's have another one. We'll see y'all next right. time right here if we're out. Wah, wah.